Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in today. My name's Marissa, and today we are gonna learn about one of my favorite animal adaptations. Now, an adaptation is something that an animal has on its body or a way that it behaves that helps that animal survive and be happy and healthy. And my favorite adaptation is camouflage. Raise your hand if you've heard of that word before. Awesome. So camouflage is a way that an animal blends into its surroundings so it's hard for it to find. So I'm gonna read a story with you all today and then I'm gonna challenge you to see if you can find the animals that are camouflaged in the plants on all of the pictures that we have online with an adult's help. So our story today is How to Hide a Butterfly by Ruth Heller. I'm gonna need your, all of your help at home to find the animals in this story, so get ready. The butterfly that you see here just folds its wings to disappear. Can you find the butterfly in this picture? Awesome job, that was a tricky one. I see her too, right here. She looks just like a leaf. The moth will do a different thing. It covers up each of its underwing so that all anyone can see is the bark upon a tree. Let's see if you can find the moth in this picture. Good job, he's right here blending in. Looks just like the bark on the tree. The inchworm's feet are at both ends. To move, it stretches and it bends. Then it performs a magic trick and imitates a twig or stick. Can you find the inchworm? Good job, right here on the side. It looks just like a twig or a stick on the tree. The praying mantis likes to make a sound just like a hissing snake and spread its wings to scare a foe. It somehow always seems to know it won't be seen when dining where the leaves are, what color? Green. Let's see if you can find the praying mantis. Great job, right here in the grass. Grasshoppers leap, sometimes three feet. And what you thought that you just saw now looks more like a bit of straw. Can you find the grasshopper in this picture? Right here. This fly you see looks just like a bee and thereby fools its enemy. But here's a clue I'll tell you, I'll tell to you. Flies only have one pair of wings, while bees have, you see, two. Can you find the fly? Remember, look for one set of wings, not two. That one was tricky. I spy the fly right here at the bottom. Just one set of wings, not two like the bees. Spiders are not insects, as I'm sure you know, but this spider is a hider and she's very, very slow. To change herself to yellow and then to pink or white, depending on the flower that she decides is right, where she can wait and catch her prey and still be out of sight. Now. See if you can find the spider on all three of these flowers. That 
that was a tricky one too, but I see her right here and right here in the middle of the pink flower and right here in the white flower. Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predatees. But predators to live must eat, so also fade and are discreet. And then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. The end. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody. Remember, check online for some animals that are hidden within plants and see if you can find them in these photos. And check online as well for a special camouflage craft to try. Hope to see you all next time.